Welcome to another edition of Litter Media Live. I'm Mike Smith, along with Aaron Glandon. This is a Monday, March the 18th of 2024. How are you today, Mr. Glandon? I'm pretty good. How are you? I'm doing well. Big weekend? Yeah. Huge weekend. Oh, really? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to, uh, that's the newsman in me. I'm just trying to probe a little bit there and see if anything special uh, happened there. Nope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good to have all of you uh, with us for a, a brand new week. It's going to be a busy week. It was a busy weekend uh, with a lot of different uh, topics, uh, local news, uh, sports. And um, I did see some snowflakes flying. I saw that this morning. So that is, I think that might be considered snow too after the um, whatever it was bloomed here a week or so ago. Okay. And there's supposed to be three snows. After that, it doesn't have to be an accumulating snow, I don't think. But uh, here's what our weather forecast is saying for today. Uh, cloudy, obviously a little bit colder. Uh, we're not going to get uh, too much out of the 30s today. Uh, looks like uh, mid to upper 30s at best. But warmer tomorrow with uh, clouds and a high 51, partly sunny in 54 on Wednesday. When we come back, we'll take a look at all the topics from over the weekend uh, you can also find on our website at littermedia.com. All ahead on Litter Media Live. Accurate heating, cooling, and plumbing, your trusted comfort advisor for more than four decades. And um, they're out to help you in any of these three categories. You know, heating and cooling was their thing for many years. They added plumbing probably a decade or so ago. And yes, I have used each one of these categories from the folks at Accurate. Probably been working with them on a personal level for about 20 years now. And I can tell you that uh, they do the job. And if uh, something gets overlooked, they come back and they take care of it. That, as we were talking about on Friday, is service. Accurate heating, cooling, and plumbing. Wherever you are, you're there for a reason. You shouldn't have to make a trip to the branch just to deposit a check. Skip the trip and use our mobile app to easily and securely deposit checks from your phone. Day or night, wherever you are, or whatever you're doing, download the Kingston National Bank Mobility app today. For transportation options in Ross County, call Ross County Health District's Mobility Management Team. 740-779-9652. Find a career you love with Pick Away Ross Adult Education. Skilled trades careers are in high demand with no signs of slowing down. Pick Away Ross offers career training programs with expert instructors and hands-on learning tactics to create a variety of opportunities. Visit our website for more information. And uh, Litter Media Live also brought to you by Haynes Total Health Care. You know, they see the world that is so unwholesome and overlooks the benefits of chiropractic care. They exist to help patients understand the importance of total wellness through chiropractic treatment and nutrition. If you'd like more information, go to their website at haneshealth.com. So let's jump into what is making news today. And again, many of these stories can be found on our website at littermedia.com. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine has designated this week as Severe Weather Awareness Week and is encouraging all Ohioans to prepare themselves for spring and summer weather hazards. That includes thunder, lightning, tornadoes, and floods. Severe Weather Awareness Week is held annually each March in Ohio and is evidenced, unfortunately, by last week's horrific tornadoes. It's so important that all Ohioans know what to do before, during, and after extreme weather events. 2024 Miss Chillicothe is Autumn Kessler, and Miss Chillicothe teen is Kendall Windsor. Crowned Saturday night in the Miss Chillicothe Scholarship Pageant, Kessler is a tap dancer from Bethesda, Ohio, and will compete in the Miss Ohio Pageant, pageant this June. And if you want to know who all of those girls are individually, get into our website, story at littermedia.com, and you can find the answer. The Zane Trace Future Farmers of America recently awarded a gold rating and named one of Ohio's top chapters in the National Award Program. The rating ranks Zane Trace among the top 10% 
of the 351 FFA chapters in Ohio. This recognition is based on the program of activities conducted by the chapter members throughout the past year. Major activities reported included the FFA Sausage Breakfast, which we had video of, the Elementary Ag Lessons, Ross County Ag Professionals Day, and the Beautify for Buck 50 Roadside Cleanup Project. Salute to Zane Trace FFA. Pickaway County Park District will host a family-friendly program on spring ephemerals on March 30th, running between 11 a.m. through 12.30 p.m. at the Park District Headquarters at 16405 U.S. Route 23 in South Bloomfield. Registration is required. To register, email mellis at pickawaycountyohio.gov. Ross County Fair Camping Contracts will be mailed at the end of this month. And if you've moved and have not updated your address with the Fair Board, send an email to camping at rosscountyfair.com by March 22nd. So your deadline's coming up. Be sure to include the head of the unit name and your lot number. Kingston Field of Grace Church will host a fish fry March 23rd between 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. at their 30 East Pickaway Street location. Uh, Just a heads up, Chillicothe Intermediate School will be hosting a housing informational meeting, and that is for all families that have students in grades 1 through 6. This is coming up on April the 3rd at 6 p.m. We'll have some additional information prior to that in the next uh, few days. Join the Highland County Community Resource Fair from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. on April 4th, thanks to Highland County Fair Family and Children's First Council, located at 1575 North High Street in Hillsboro. And if you're watching us live on Facebook or later on YouTube, you can scan that QR code right there for more information. Ross County Historical Society, in conjunction with the Mound City Chapter of the Archaeological Society of Ohio and the Hopewell Culture National Historic Park, will host its 7th Annual Archaeology Day event Saturday, April 13th from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. Featured will be more than 20 top or tabletop exhibits with a wide range of prehistoric artifacts, fossils, and rocks collected by members of the Mound City Chapter of the ASO. Heritage Nazarene Church on Walnut Creek Pike will host the Circleville Area Health Fair on April 27th from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. And the General Assembly of the State of Ohio back in 2017 designated March 13th through April the 15th as Ohio Deaf History Month. The State Library of Ohio has a vital partnership with the Ohio School for the Deaf, enhancing access to deafness and interpreting related resources. The collaboration includes a collection of over 400 items available for circulation through the state library's online catalog. Additionally, the Ohio Digital Library offers a diverse range of ebooks and videos covering deaf culture and ASL for all ages and interest. And finally, news, Liberty Township Fire Department will host a pancake breakfast and Easter egg hunt Saturday, March 23rd from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. as the breakfast and then after that is the Easter egg hunt, and it's by age group. You ever get on an Easter egg hunt? Oh, plenty of times. I'm real good at it. Is that right? Yeah. Could you still do it? I don't know. I haven't been on one in years. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I'm i sure I probably was on an Easter egg hunt at some time in my life. I just It's been so long ago, I don't remember. And they all just look like regular eggs to you, don't they? Uh, in, in some cases, yeah. Y- usually it's the dark colors, like... What are you wearing? Is this black this or is dark black. blue? It's okay. black. Uh, unless it's under a bright light, uh, and I have a litter shirt that's black, and I have one that's real dark blue, unless I'm holding it under strong light, I can't tell the difference. Mm. So that's my cross to bear, I guess. A busy weekend, as we were telling you about in sports, from the high school, well, actually from the grade school all the way to the pro levels. We'll talk about it when we come back on Litter Media Live. But first, Scioto Valley Dumpsters. If you are in need of a cleanup job, call Scioto Valley Dumpsters at 740-253-8389. They'll bring you a big orange dumpster for you to throw your trash in. And if the price is right, if the job is right, they can even do some demolition for you. Call them at 740-253-8389. 89 for Scioto Valley Dumpsters. Sports is next. Find a career you love with Pickaway Ross Adult Education. Skilled trades careers are in high demand with no signs of slowing down. Pickaway Ross offers career training programs with expert instructors and hands-on learning tactics to create a variety of opportunities. Visit our website for more information. 
Each week, Litter Media presents the Neil Coleman Insurance Wyandotte Mutual Player of the Week. If you have an athlete to nominate, any amateur athlete is eligible. Simply visit littermedia.com and click on Player of the Week. At the end of the year, we'll announce the Player of the Year. Make your nominations now at littermedia.com. Click on Player of the Week. As a professional race car driver, I live for speed, power, and performance on and off the track. That's why I use the Dixie Chopper, the world's fastest lawnmower. Race into your local dealership today and test drive a new Dixie Chopper. In sports this week, as you said, we got something for all ages here. Starting with the young ages in sports, Paint Valley's Ainsley Weaver is headed to Chicago in April to compete in the 2024 Elks Hoop Shoot National Finals. The Chillicothe Elks Hoop Shoot 8 to 9 year old division winner sank 23 of 25 free throws at Saturday's Great Lakes Region 4 contest in South Bend, Indiana. Local Elks Hoop Shoot director, that's Crazy to say. <laughs> Local Elks sh- Hoop Shoot Director Gail Ma- Mahaffey tells Litter Media Weaver and Unioto Primaries Isaiah Reveal both advanced in their age divisions with qualifying performances at the state competition held in Newark last month. Reveal finished third in the regional Saturday in the 10 to 11 year old division. And congratulations uh, yeah. to Angel. That's her in the middle. I don't think I can make 23 out of 25 free um, throws. Probably the same here. I'd have to do a lot of practicing beforehand. All of the Southeast District boys and girls basketball teams uh, season have come to a close. Of course, for girls, the state championships were held over the weekend. The Lady Wildcats of uh, Waterford bring home a state runner-up trophy. They lost to a very good Fort Loramie club by a score of 42 to 29 on Saturday. That was in the Division Four finals at UD's Dayton Arena. Fairland and Portsmouth girls had lost in semifinal action in the D2 and 3 ranks, respectively. Uh, Other than the girls' uh, tournaments, we see, of course, the championship games on Saturday. Also, Afficentric, Purcell Marion, and Olmstead Falls were all winners. In boys' action on Saturday, Warren had a 15-point lead and lost. Zanesville-Maysville had an incredible Last second shot to beat Hartley in the semis. They rally from 15 down to beat Warren for the regional championship. So Maysville goes on to the boys' state tournament. On Friday night, which involved, of course, Fairland girls, they lost uh, by one point to Laurel, who got creamed in the finals, you see, by Cincinnati Purcell Marion. Uh, the other team that involved the Southeast District was in boys' basketball Friday South Webster suffered a a similar fate that Warren did. They were up by 16 in the second half Mm. and lost in overtime to Berlin Highland, 48 to 45. Now, a side note, uh, this is the the Boys State Tournament Week at UD Arena. Uh, We did this last year because of the final or the uh, NCAA play-in games, which are Tuesday, Wednesday. The Boys State Championship games are Friday through Sunday, not Thursday through Saturday. Right. So be aware of that. Shawnee State men's basketball missed heading to the NAIA National Tournament in Kansas City, falling to Madonna College 81-78 to Saturday in second-round action. The Bears conclude their season at 21-10. and uh, A great season. Uh, Trey uh, Beard, who's from Chillicothe, uh, was not one of the leading scorers, I don't think, in that game, but he is a member of of that squad and a a major contributor. Congratulations goes out to Jake Diebler. He's the man. He um, took over for a struggling Buckeyes program. They end up winning five of their last seven. Uh, Wins included victories over Purdue, the regular season Big Ten champ. They beat Michigan State, who got in with a 19-14 and record, but Ohio State did not get in with a 20-13 and record. Uh, when I first saw that, I thought, what's the deal with that? But when I got to looking at strength of schedule, even yeah. though Ohio State had beaten Michigan State in that uh, end of the season stretch, Michigan State was ranked 12th of the nation on uh, strength of schedule where the Buckeyes were 35th. 
So that's probably why the committee went with MSU and not OSU. Right. Dayton and Akron are the lone – oh, there's no image for that. Dayton and Akron are the lone Ohio men's basketball teams to make the cut for the NCAA tournament selection. On the women's side of the tournament, Ohio State and Kent State are the only Ohio teams to get in. So you'll have to be a flyer, zip, or uh, who did I say, flash fan or yeah. Lady Buckeye fan Yeah, if you want to have somebody from Ohio go all the way. The Lady Buckeyes, by the way – uh, because they bombed out so early in the Big Ten tournament, even though they won the regular season championship, they got a number two seed in the NCAA tournament instead of a number one. Right. But that's still that's still pretty good. Have you filled out a bracket yet? I have never yesterday. done that. Never done I that? I have never done that. I find that is however many minutes of my life I'll never get back, so I, I don't bother. I filled out two brackets this morning. Took me five minutes total. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Good luck to you. When we come back, we'll wrap up with this date in history as we take you back to the year 1911 with a musical tune. All that coming up. First, litter quality propane. 92 years of serving propane users in southern and central Ohio. Reliable supply, reliable service, reliable people. At Rathcamp Financial, we act as your advocate in all wealth matters. We believe in long-term relationships and working to earn your continued trust with our customized investment solutions. Our greatest satisfaction comes from working with clients for many years and helping them realize their dreams. This is Andy Tomlinson. When insuring what's important to you, our agents are there when you need us the most. Tomlinson Insurance, for the best coverage at the best cost. Visit us online at tomlinsonins.com to learn more. Whenever I first applied for the Archways opportunity, oh, do I have to pay this back? Do I have to do that? Like, is it a loan? And it's not. It's a scholarship. A goal of mine is to graduate college debt free. If you're a crew member, you get $2,500 a year. And if you're a manager, you get $3,000. And especially if you're going locally to college, like to the branch or something like that, it's really helpful. Are you looking for a beer that satisfies your thirst and love of country? Armed Forces Brewing Company brews beer for patriots. Celebrate freedom with every sip. Armed Forces Brewing Company. Freedom never tasted so good. And we feature a musical tune for our This Date in History as we go back to the year 1911. Composing Irving Berlin, copyrights... Alexander's Ragtime Band, the multi-million selling smash hit that helped turn American popular music into a major international phenomenon, both culturally and economically. Now, the image you see there, that is a movie poster for that movie that came out many years later. But when the sheet music went out, I think when we featured this two years ago on this date in history... I had a picture of the musical sheet, right? the music sheet, but we thought we'd use a little bit of uh, movie credits there. I don't know what year that came out, probably in the 30s or 40s, but uh, the original sheet music went out on this date in 1911. I've never heard of that in my life. Is that right? Yeah. Alexander's Ragtime Band. I believe it's kind of an up, upbeat tune. You'll have to look that up and see what you got. Yeah. Uh, Dan is on assignment today, and uh, you both will be out on assignment tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow's all you. So we have a very uh, a busy week as far as the special editions. We had Mike Throne of the Chillicothe Ross Chamber of Commerce in this morning. We'll have a cut of what Mike was talking about. If you didn't see it live, you can go right back to Facebook or YouTube and see it it's now. It's on YouTube right now. Yeah, see And it Spotify. Now. But we'll have a, a touch of that on our news tomorrow. Uh, Our special edition for tomorrow, uh, Mike Benson and Linda Hill of the Chillicothe uh, High School uh, Alumni Association. They'll be in. We have a special edition for Pickaway County on Wednesday, and then we'll have another special edition at 10 o'clock on Thursday. So a busy week ahead of us here at Litter Media on Facebook Live, as well as on Litter Media Radio. Yeah. You can sign off today since you're not going to be here tomorrow. For Dan Ramey and for Mike Smith, thank you all for watching on Litter Media Live, and we'll see you tomorrow.